Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so I am back with another makeup of the day video and this one was really fun because I use a lot of new products and then also the look itself is just really really fun I think this is going to be my Thanksgiving makeup of the day so if you guys can't tell the look is yet another duochrome look I use um, a duochrome pretty much on the center and outer corner of my lid but y'all know these cameras don't never pick up the actual flip or the dual chrome so i'm hoping that y'all can see it i'm gonna swatch the color anyway so maybe you guys will be able to see it better like on a swatch on my hand but yeah another dual chrome because i've just been obsessed with them and the look was just really really fun for me to create like i said i use a lot of new products i did use some of the new things that i got in my most recent sephora haul so not the one that i did a video on it was another one that i posted in my community tab i have not done a haul for that one because it was just a few things so i really didn't feel the need to do a full haul but i pretty much used almost everything from that order on my face today so you guys are going to be getting basically a little rundown of how i did my face for today's makeup look so if you guys want to see everything that i use for today's makeup of the day then just keep on watching so I'm actually gonna start with the complexion first. We'll, we'll come to the eyes, we will get to the eyes, but I wanna do complexion first because a lot of the items that I ordered in that Sephora order were complexion products. And y'all know in my first Sephora order, it was a lot of complexion products because I just really wanted to up my foundation, concealer, powder, game like i really wanted some luxury products some higher end luxury products so that's kind of the bag that i've been in lately so the first thing i have here is a product that i've seen quite a few people saying that they do not know how to use and when i looked at this product and i thought about purchasing it I went into it with every intentions of using it as an actual primer. I know that you can use this as a foundation. You can use this as a touch up powder product. You can use this to blot and things like that. But I just had no intentions of doing that because once my face is done like this, I really don't like putting things on top of my complexion, not even powder. Like I don't even like touching up with powder just because I feel like it, it just doesn't make the makeup look like how it looked when you first applied it like it kind of disrupts it and it doesn't look as good as it did like after you finished it and everything but anywho this is the Danessa Myricks universal yummy skin blurring balm powder long as name but this is in universal because I got the like translucent shade that I feel like is supposed to be used as a primer and you guys can actually see that I used it for the first time today because there's only one little scoop in here I did use the little spatula that it comes with I sprayed this with some alcohol before I dipped it in there and that's how I'm gonna use this product every time I use it I'm gonna spray this with alcohol and then proceed to go in there this is a very interesting product it is very emollient and slick feeling on the skin like it almost feels as if you are applying Vaseline to your skin and it does not dry down so like literally if you're not into you know your face feeling kind of greasy or slimy or like vaseline like if you put vaseline on your face if you're not into that then i know that you would not like this but um and it also doesn't dry down so it stays kind of like that creamy emollient feel on your skin until you go in with your foundation and products and everything like that so i was kind of weary because i was like when is this gonna sink into my skin when is it gonna dry down i sat with this product on my skin for like five, 10 minutes and it never dried down. So I just went ahead and put my foundation on top of it and proceeded to do the rest of my face like normal. And my face came out like how it always does. So this did not affect the application of all of the products that I put on top of it. It just feels weird. So definitely keep that in mind if you're going to buy this product. But yes, I use it as a primer and I definitely think it's very blurring. So my pores are the biggest in here. And I definitely think that it is a very blurring type of product that's what I wanted to use it for so yes interesting but I like it so then y'all know I got the Dior backstage face and body foundation I've been having a time with Dior and their complexion products let me tell you I've been having a time with them okay so this is in the shade 6n this is darker than my complexion but y'all can't even tell right now can y'all y'all can't even tell that this foundation is super dark on my skin 
So for that reason, I'm not taking it back. I'm not even gonna waste my time going to Sephora. If I can make it work and make it look good and make it look like it's not even a different shade than my skin, then I'm just gonna keep it, forget it. I'm just going to keep the product. So I really need the shade five in for it to be a match before I do my whole face. But listen, I don't care. Anywho, this is a really nice foundation. Um, I like how liquidy it is, but when it sits on the skin, it dries down to almost like a powder finish. So I really do like this foundation. So looking at the box, the claims of this foundation is that it's supposed to be an ultra buildable coverage with second skin finish. So um, I use about the equivalent of two pumps of a regular foundation when I squeeze this onto my hand. I use about two pumps and like I said, it gave me more of a a medium finish but but the claims of this says that it's versatile texture offers an array of finishes from fresh and natural with one layer to a sophisticated couture look in three layers so you're supposed to be able to build this up yeah this is supposed to be more of a buildable coverage I actually like that I like that you can do whatever you want with this foundation because most foundations are not like that unless you add like your moisturizer or an oil to it so I actually like that they give you options with this foundation um, and it says that it's supposed to be extreme condition proof so the formula resists workout sessions, water, extreme temperatures, and humid environments. Yeah, we'll see about all that. I don't know about all that, but um, I don't know. We, we'll see. We'll see how it wears because I have seen people say that this is a great long wearing foundation, transfer proof foundation, and they don't get super oily when they're wearing it. So we shall see. Um, and then it also says enriched with beauty enhancing pigments, the formula fuses with skin that glows for a perfect natural complexion in real life and through the camera lens. I mean, they ain't lying about that part because you know what I'm saying? The foundation looks good. Like you literally can't tell where my skin starts and my foundation ends. So I'm not even going to hold them with that one. They did good with that part. Okay. Because yeah. And, and let's not negate the fact that this doesn't even match me 100%. So imagine if I had like the perfect match for this foundation. Anywho, we've been talking about that foundation for long enough. So now we're going to move on. I did go ahead and cream contour finally with my NARS Laguna bronzing cream. So I use it for the first time today this is what she looks like i used it with this small little brush from morphe just dipped it in there and then i applied it to my skin this is super nice this reminds me a lot of like the abh um cream bronzer it reminds me of the huda cream bronzer it's a very very creamy easy to blend finish and it looks very natural on the skin so it's not super super harsh or pigmented or anything like that i feel like it looks very very natural and like I said, it's easy to blend. So great cream contour. You can't go wrong with it. Okay, so then I finally did my cream blush. This is the one from Fenty. So I like this cream blush, but it's not my favorite formula. It's definitely not my favorite formula. I feel like I have to build this up on itself a bit too much. Like I feel like the coverage of these blushes is very sheer. So... Mm, I don't know and I did use like more of a dense type of brush to stipple this on my face so I used one of these brushes um I only use this side today so I dipped into it and I put it on my face and I don't know I just felt like I had to build on it too much because the pigment just wasn't like more of a thicker pigment which is what I'm used to with my cream blushes so I'm not in love with this but this was only my first time using it so maybe I'll have to keep trying it out we'll see um, for my powder blush, I actually use one that I really, really like, and this is from MAC, and this is their Frost Powder Blush in Format. So Format is a nice, warm brown color. It has a heavy, heavy sheen to it. So like when I turn to the side, all of this glow that you guys are seeing is not my highlight because I only put my highlight up here. So all of this right here that you guys are seeing is from this blush. So it is seriously a satin finish. And when you turn your head, it definitely gives off that like super, super shiny type of finish. But you guys can clearly see the color. So it's definitely a super warm kind of terracotta orangey type of color, which is what I love. And I feel like it goes with so many different looks because it just kind of looks like a natural warmth to my skin. So but this is a really pretty blush. And I really like the formula of like the satin sheen glow that it gives, especially for the holidays. Okay, so, 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 oh, the highlighter that I use, this is the Makeup Revolution X The Plastic Boy Gary Thompson highlight. This pan is freaking massive, but this is the highlight that I put like mostly up here and then that you see on my nose and my chin and my cupid's bow and everything. This is the highlight that I use. I really enjoy this highlight. It is on the darker side, so I kind of have to be a little bit careful with this one or it'll kind of look like a stripe on my face because it's darker than my skin tone, but you cannot deny 
the intensity of the highlight. I mean, look how the light catches it. And then it's so, so pretty. The color is definitely pretty, definitely brown girl friendly. We love that. So he did a really, really good job on this collab. So for my concealer today, I used two. Of course, I used the Dior to match the foundation. And then I used my MAC 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. I love this concealer. It is such full coverage. It is heavy duty. It doesn't crease. This is such a really nice concealer. I love the Dior one, but I've already talked about this concealer. This is amazing. It's super creamy, full coverage. Um, it looks just really nice on the skin and natural. So I love this one, but this one is more of your event, going out, going on a date, filming type of concealer because it is heavy duty, okay? And I can appreciate that. And by the way, I have the Dior in the shade 4.5N and then the MAC in NC44. And this is like my more highlighting concealer. So love both of those. And I set them down with the new Makeup Forever loose powder and I have the shade Banana. This powder is super blurring, super, super blurring. As soon as I put this powder on my skin, I just got this like really highlighted natural skin finish effect to my face. It just blurred everything out. And I think that's a combination of the Danessa Myricks product, the foundation, and then as well as the powder. So this is super nice. And I love the packaging of this powder because it does come with a sifter top that you lift up and then you pour the powder out so mine is messy right now but that's because i literally just used it today but i love the packaging on this so yeah that powder is really really nice and then another makeup forever product that i used today that i just got in that sephora order was their matte velvet skin blurring powder foundation and i have mine in the shade y445 this is pretty much the same color as my mac studio fix powder in nc47 and this is the reason why i think that the dior foundation matches me because i put this lighter powder on top of it and it kind of offset the darkness of this foundation so yeah i was going to switch this powder out for the shade y505 which i think is more of my actual natural skin color but because i got this darker foundation and i do have other darker foundations in my collection i wanted to use this more as a a face brightening setting powder and I do have powders in my collection like that that I use specifically to kind of lighten darker foundations that don't necessarily match me so um really like the smoothness that this gave my face as well this gave my skin a little bit more coverage but nothing too crazy I use a super big powder brush with this and I kind of just stamped it onto my skin so it gave a little bit of coverage, but nothing too crazy. And I really, really like this powder. And I love the compact that it comes in. I've always seen people using these and I was like, that compact looks just so nice. And it really is. So I really do like that. Definitely worth the money. For bronzer, I use my Goody Sephora bronzer in Ibiza. Love this color. This is always such a great color for me. It just works all times of the year during the summer. I can build it up so that it's super, super deep. And then during the winter, I can go a little bit lighter on it as well as use it on my body to kind of match my face to my body. And it just always looks good. So always, always, always love that bronzer. So I think the last thing before we get into eyes. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys. The Makeup Forever Loose Powder also comes with its own puff. So you guys see how it says Makeup Forever and it comes with one of these little puffs for you to be able to dip the powder in. I did not use this today, which I should have, but I was kind of just not thinking about it. But I love the fact that they give you that because that powder is a little pretty penny. So the fact that they give you a puff with it is like a really, really nice touch. It makes me want to repurchase it. You know what I'm saying? But um, for my lips today, I thought about putting a gloss on top of this lip combo. And I don't know, I probably still will. Let's see. This is the Juvia's Place Gloss in Oasis. Let's see how this would look on top. Y'all know I love me a good gloss. And mm, this right here just set the look. Y'all know I love me a good gloss. This just set the look off. I... I put this in the bag to use for my makeup of the day, but I was like, okay, the, the matte lip is giving, but then I just saw it in the bag and I was like, let me put this on. This is a really nice gloss. This is from their Nubian collection, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember what it's called, but 
yeah it's from that collection i actually used one of those lipsticks today so i lined my lips with a dark brown lip liner from milani this is in the shade rich cocoa and then i used one of those juvia's place lipsticks from the nubian collection i think that's what it's called and this is in the shade nile and this is a really unique lipstick color to my collection because as you guys can see it's like this really warm i don't know like orangey brown color it is like super, super unique to my collection. So I lined my lips. I put this all around my lips and then I went in and lightened the color with my Too Faced Lady Bold lipstick in the shade Brave. Y'all know this is like my mixing lipstick because it's super duper light. So I use it to basically mix in with other lipsticks that I feel like need a little bit of mixing. So that's what the color of it looks like. And it's so pretty. I just put this in the center and this was all I had on my lips before I put the gloss over the top. But I think it looks so good with the gloss, like super, super good. Anywho, um, for the eyes, let's get into the eyes. So for my base, I use this ColourPop Cream Gel Color. And this is so old, y'all. This is so old. This is from the Karuchi collab. And how many years ago was the Karuchi collab? I don't care, but this is in the shade Nut, and it's still super, super creamy. I used it with one of those little cheap eyeshadow brushes that you can get from the dollar store. Um, It's not a brush. It's like the little cheap uh, applicator sponges that you can get. I use that to apply this little cream liner. So as you guys can see, I dug in there because there's no way I would be able to get my fingers or my nails into this pot. So um, this is what I use as my eyeshadow base. And then I use the Makeup Revolution X Gary Thompson, the Plastic Boy eyeshadow palette. And this is stunning. This is such a beautiful palette. I love the array of colors. I love all of these transition and crease and outer corner shades. I love that it comes with the black. And then this is a full row of shimmers. So I use this color, this color, this color, this color, and then this color right here. I use all of those on my eyes today for my crease, my inner corner highlight, my brow bone highlight, my outer corner, my liner. Like I use all of those colors for um, my crease and everything. And then for my actual lid, I went in with Pat McGrath because y'all know I can't do a makeup of the day now without using Pat McGrath because I love my Pat McGrath palettes now. I have just been digging into them. So two colors from this palette are on my lids today. So this one and this one, and I'm going to go ahead and swatch it because this is that duochrome shadow that I was telling you guys about. And then this one is just a really pretty like orangey copper type of color. So this is the duochrome and I'm not sure. So you can kind of see it when it turns this way, but cameras do not do a good job at showing duochromes. You can kind of see it right there. And then the copper is just a regular orangey copper color. It's not a duochrome or anything. Let me see if I can show it to y'all in the palette. So you can kind of see the duochrome shift in the mirror right there. It's super pretty, but those are the two colors that are actually on my lid from this palette. And it is so pretty. I love this eye look. This is so stunning to me. And I think this is a perfect, warm Thanksgiving type of makeup look. So for my eyeliner, I did use my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Macrame. And that's the little like hint of gold that you guys see inside of my waterline. So that's what I use. And then to set everything, I just sprayed my face with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray because this is what I have been using. I have been addicted to this stuff. I don't know, it just, like my face be sitting after I use this, like it just be sitting. So that's everything for my makeup of the day, you guys. I was like really happy to use these products today and show them to you guys. I think my makeup looks fire as always. As always, these products, these products are so good, like, I'm just really happy with everything. So yeah, um, like I said in my last video, if you guys did not watch my Shop My Stash, definitely go and look at my Shop My Stash because some of these items I did pull for my Shop My Stash so that I can use them for the rest of the year. So definitely you will be seeing them in more makeup of the day videos because I will be using these products for the rest of the year. Um, but yeah, that is literally everything that I have to show you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you enjoyed it. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.